Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Xiao Yu, and a PhD who has recently graduated from Duke University. Um, I'm glad here to present our work, MPATH, uh, Model Poison Attacks to Federated Learning Based on Fake Clients. This is a joint work with my PhD advisor, Neil Gong. We consider a single global model setting where there are some clients, each holding some local data and a local model. There is also a cloud server, which maintains a global model. The clients and the server aim to jointly learn a good global model through multiple rounds of communication. And the learned global model will be used to provide service to the clients. Due to its distributed nature, federated learning is vulnerable to poisoning attacks whose goal is to decrease the accuracy of the global model. Specifically, an attacker may control some clients in federated learning and use them to corrupt the global model via sending malicious model updates to the server. As a result, the poisoned global model will have low accuracy. There are some existing attacks which have several limitations. First, they all assume that the attacker can compromise a large fraction of genuine clients. This has been shown to be impractical in real world applications. Moreover, the attacker needs to bypass the malware detection systems on the compromised devices when performing those attacks, which is also challenging. Second, existing attacks result in suboptimal overall attack effect since they solve roundwise optimization problems. The roundwise solutions may contradict with each other and the overall attack effect uh, may cancel out in multiple rounds. We propose fake client-based attacks to address those limitations. Instead of compromising genuine clients in fantasy learning, the attacker injects some fake clients into the system. For instance, uh, the attacker can use Android emulators to emulate the, uh, some clients. This incurs much lower cost compared to compromising genuine clients. Moreover, since the attacker has full control over the fake clients, it can get rid of uh, malware detection easily. However, there is a key challenge in fake client-based attacks, that is, there is no training data available on the fake clients. Thus, existing attacks are not applicable to uh, fake client-based scenarios <clears throat> since they all require genuine training data. Next, I will introduce our design. Our intuition is that an attacker can choose an arbitrary model called base model, which has low test accuracy. For instance, an attacker could randomly initialize a model as the base model. If we can force the global model to behave like the base model, whose test accuracy is low, then the test accuracy of the learned global model would likely be low too. Therefore, we formulate our attack as such an optimization problem. In the problem, GIT represents the fake model updates on the ith client in the teeth round. WT means the final global model under our attack. And W prime represents the base model with low accuracy. We solve the optimization problem while con continuously driving the uh, global model towards the base model in each FL round. Here is an illustration of that. W star is the optimal global model with high accuracy. W prime is the base model with low accuracy. Suppose the global model in the T minus one round is WT minus one. The genuine local model updates are likely to point to the direction of the optimal global model, that is W star. Our attack attempts to drive the global model towards the base model, W prime, therefore, we generate some uh, fake local model updates as vectors pointing to W prime with large magnitude. As a result, the aggregation of both genuine and fake local model updates will become the vector as shown by this black arrow. 
and the global model is updated to WT. Similarly, in the next round, we will have this genuine local model updates and this fake uh, local model updates. And the global model is driven further away from the optimal uh, model and closer to the base model. Next, I will show some example evaluation results. We perform the evaluation with purchase data set. We assume there are 1,000 genuine clients and chain main is used for aggregation. This figure shows the test accuracy under different attacks when the fraction of fake clients varies. In the figure, the random attack means we use uh, random noise as fake locomotor updates. History attack means that we reverse the history global model updates as the fake local model updates. Uh, these two are baseline attacks for uh, fake client-based scenarios. We observe that our attack can significantly decrease the test accuracy while the baseline attacks cannot. We have the same observation on other data sets and other aggregation rules we evaluated. Here are our key takeaways. We found that poison attacks based on fake clients can be as effective while incurring much lower cost compared to attacks based on compromised genuine clients. And we encourage re researchers to pay more attention to attacks based on fake clients and global optimization problems. And thank you. Do you have any questions?